Chapter 2 How the Civil Rights Movement Helped Shape Our Confidence The Civil Rights Movement, a pivotal and transformative era in American history, was a social and political movement that fought to secure equal rights and opportunities for African Americans and other marginalized communities. Emerging in the mid-20th century, this movement not only brought about significant legal changes, but also had a profound impact on the collective confidence of the nation. By challenging systemic discrimination and inspiring courage and resilience, the civil rights movement played a crucial role in shaping the confidence of individuals and the nation as a whole. One of the most significant ways the civil rights movement influenced confidence was by empowering individuals to speak out against injustice and discrimination. As leaders like Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, and Malcolm X took a stand against segregation and racial oppression, they became symbols of courage, inspiring countless others to find their voices. Through nonviolent protests, boycotts, and marches, ordinary people learned that their actions could create powerful ripples of change. One of the biggest components that created a shift in civil rights was the self-defense movement. Practicing self-defense played a role in the civil rights movement, especially for African Americans, in several ways. Self-defense training empowered African Americans by providing them with practical skills to protect themselves and their communities from violence and harassment. Learning to defend themselves boosted their confidence and self-esteem, encouraging a sense of empowerment and self-reliance. The civil rights movement was met with significant resistance and violence from white supremacists and segregationists. By demonstrating their ability to defend themselves, African Americans were sending a clear message that they would not be passive victims and were willing to protect their rights and dignity if necessary. This deterrence may have helped reduce the frequency of attacks in some instances. The perception of strength and determination can influence public opinion and media portrayal. The idea that African Americans were willing and able to defend themselves and their rights challenged the stereotypes of the time that portrayed them as weak, submissive, or dangerous. Self-defense training allowed civil rights activists to better navigate potentially dangerous situations during protests, demonstrations, and other civil rights actions. It helped them to maintain discipline and control, reducing the risk of escalating confrontations. Participating in self-defense training fostered a sense of unity and camaraderie among civil rights activists. It created a shared experience and common purpose, reinforcing their commitment to the movement's goals and each other's well-being. The self-defense aspect of the civil rights movement garnered attention and showcased the lengths to which African Americans were willing to go to protect their rights. This drew attention to the injustices they faced and may have influenced public opinion in favor of civil rights reforms. It is important to note that the civil rights movement was a multifaceted and complex struggle, and self-defense was a critical component of it. The movement also employed legal strategies and grassroots organizing to achieve its goals. The decision to practice self-defense was often contextual, with some leaders and organizations advocating for nonviolence. While others believed in the importance of armed self-defense in the face of severe threats and violence, the courage displayed by civil rights activists instilled a newfound confidence in individuals who had previously felt silenced and marginalized. This newly found empowerment extended beyond racial issues, motivating people to speak out on various social and political matters, fueling the broader movements for women's rights, LGBTQ plus rights and other social justice causes. The civil rights movement brought together individuals from diverse backgrounds and communities, forging a sense of unity and solidarity that transcended racial lines. People of different races, ethnicities, and backgrounds stood side by side, bound by a shared vision of justice and equality. This unity not only strengthened the movement, but also cultivated a sense of national pride and confidence in the idea that collective action could overcome deeply entrenched discrimination. The sense of unity and solidarity generated during the civil rights movement continues to shape the nation's confidence today. It serves as a reminder that, despite differences, people can come together to challenge injustice and create positive change. 
The civil rights movement sought to dismantle discriminatory laws and practices that perpetuated racial segregation and inequality. It led to landmark legislation like the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which outlawed segregation and secured voting rights for African Americans. These legal victories marked a significant step towards dismantling systemic discrimination and fostering a fairer society. By challenging institutional discrimination, the civil rights movement not only improved the lives of African Americans, but also strengthened the nation's confidence in its ability to progress and evolve. It demonstrated that even deeply ingrained injustices could be confronted and overturned through determination and collective action. The resilience shown by civil rights activists during this period continues to inspire confidence in individuals and communities facing their own struggles. It reminds us that setbacks are part of any journey towards change and that perseverance and determination can lead to transformative outcomes. The civil rights movement was a defining moment in American history, leaving a profound impact on the nation's confidence and self-perception. By empowering individuals to speak out against injustice, fostering unity and solidarity among diverse communities, challenging institutional discrimination, and cultivating resilience in the face of adversity, the movement reshaped the confidence of individuals and the nation as a whole. Today, as we reflect on the legacy of the civil rights movement, it serves as a powerful reminder that collective action and the pursuit of justice can drive societal change and strengthen our confidence in the possibilities of a more equitable future. However, the struggle for civil rights and social justice continues, urging us to remain vigilant and engaged in creating a more inclusive and confident society for all. We should never forget the deep-rooted reasoning for why our ancestors risked their lives. In the depths of history, some of the most remarkable legacies have been forged through the crucible of rejection. From iconic artists to pioneering scientists, many of those who have left an indelible mark on society have faced rejection as a defining chapter in their journey. While rejection may seem discouraging in the moment, it often serves as a catalyst for growth, resilience, and the eventual creation of enduring legacies. Rejection is a universal experience, transcending time, place, and field of endeavor. It manifests in various forms, from the rejection of artistic creations, academic ideas, business proposals, and even personal relationships. What sets apart those who build legacies is their ability to transform rejection into an opportunity for self-discovery and personal development. Rejection tests one's mettle and resilience, separating those who are merely interested from those who are truly committed to their goals. Many great figures faced multiple rejections before achieving their breakthroughs. Consider the story of Alex Haley, whose Roots manuscript was rejected by numerous publishers before one took a chance on it. Alex Haley's father died when he was only 11 years old. It was a struggle for Alex because his father was the main person he looked up to. He eventually found his calling and started doing freelance work writing for 16 hours a day making $2,000 a year surviving on nothing but canned sardines weeks at a time. Alex would finally get a big break after 8 years and over 200 rejections. His resilience and determination not only led to immense success but also inspired countless aspiring writers. In the world of science and technology, rejection has often acted as the catalyst for groundbreaking innovation. Benjamin Banneker, the inventor of the almanac, famously remarked, Presumption should never make us neglect that which appears easy to us. Nor despair make us lose courage at the sight of difficulties. For years, Banneker was rejected because he didn't fill the criteria of a scientist back then. He was passive-aggressive in a way. This led people to doubt him until they saw how accurate his calculations for almanacs were. They soon started to accept him. Banneker was able to open up the eyes of people in America to see that African Americans are not inferior to others. Because of his almanacs and other advances, he opened up the world for many people. Benjamin Banneker in the face of rejection paved the way for transformative inventions that continue to shape our lives. Rejection forces individuals to reassess their work, refine their skills, and gain a fresh perspective. 
Constructive criticism resulting from rejection can be invaluable in honing one's craft and creating work of higher quality. Moreover, rejection can lead to introspection, helping individuals align their goals with their true passions and values. Rejection often sparks creativity and fuels ambition in unexpected ways. When doors close, individuals are forced to explore new avenues and think outside the box. This willingness to venture into uncharted territory can lead to breakthroughs that might not have been realized without the initial rejection. Enduring rejection cultivates humility, empathy, and emotional intelligence. Those who have faced rejection firsthand are often more understanding of the struggles and setbacks faced by others. This empathy can lead to the creation of work that resonates deeply with a broader audience. While rejection can be disheartening and challenging, its role in shaping legacies is undeniable. It is through rejection that individuals are tested, refined, and ultimately propelled toward greatness. The stories of those who have transformed rejection into triumph serve as a testament to the power of resilience, determination, and the unwavering pursuit of one's passion. Aspiring individuals should remember that even in the face of rejection, their journey has the potential to lead to a legacy that will inspire generations to come.